Well, former Victorian Premier Jeff Kennedy likes to stir the pot, doesn't he? And he, he does. certainly stirred the pot overnight with a message on Twitter in which he found it reprehensible that people who are being paid for their interviews, the survivors of the uh, Lint Cafe siege, should be being paid money. Some, In, in some cases, $400,000. Yeah, look, I heard his argument. We've got it up on our website. I listen to him and I find myself agreeing with him. In the end, the people who are survivors, they are going to be getting compensation under the Victims of Crime uh, Act because of the, the thing being classified as a terrorist act. There are people who have very good stories to tell, who are, for instance, some of the people who orchestrated the police response, some of the police that were first in. They can't charged hundreds of thousands of dollars to tell their story. Because There's nothing stopping people telling their story. Why should they be paid huge amounts of money for it? But the people like the police and those emergency rescuers who went in there, they're actually paid. That's their job. Yeah. They're paid to train for these sorts of situations. Why should they be paid any more money for They've it? They've got a story to tell. Isn't the whole idea that if someone's got a story to tell and there's someone willing to pay for it, the idea is that you could, you should be able to take that money and tell the story? I think, I think what Kenneth's argued is there's this notion that it's still grubby to take money from commercial television networks to sell your story. No one said it was grubby when the miners down in Beaconsfield took $1.75 million for their, to tell their stories, did they? And here were men who had been trapped below the surface for days on end. No one thought they'd ever see their families again. No one kicked up a stink back then. Did they? Well, I don't know. There were people talking about it being exploitive at the time. I'm trying to think back, and I can't talk uh, with any authority on this, whether there were people who were survivors of the Granville. A disaster, who, whether they were paid for their story. They told their story, those people who were involved in that. So I, I do think there's an element of exploiting a tragedy when these amounts of money are being thrown around. I'd agree with Jeff Kennett. Well, I think the world's moved on. It's 30 years on after Granville and many of those other um, accidents that have taken place. And I think if you're there, if you're in a situation, you're going about your normal life and there's an opportunity to... Uh, get over some of the scars that you you will suffer inevitably, inevitably, then why not take the money? You're running a TV uh, network. Would you try and convince the people to tell the story because they've got a story to tell, or would you be waving a checkbook at them? I'd definitely have the checkbook out. That's how it works. There's no going away around it. It's the world in which we live.